Okay, hello, welcome to Uncharted 3, part 1, Drake's Deception. So yeah, we're just going to kick this off. Uh, just check the options quickly. So game subtitles are on, good. Yeah, that would be fine. Uh, yeah, that better be off. It's knowing me, I'll push that. And let's go. Continuous speedrun. Now we'll just do casual campaign on... Well, we know how I did badly on normal on the previous games, so we'll keep it at normal. <sighs> All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a three-dollar bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Come on. Unless you cut! This one's mine! Yeah, you and me. Yeah, 
gotta go with me, come on! Yeah, I am Pesha! Come on, okay. no time to rest. All right, mate, you're done for. Just so you know, our, uh, us British people are friendly. What is this? Hey there, big fella. I got him! Uh, quick, hit him! Not bad idea, Grandpa. Uh, Damn it! Get him! Drink. Oh, okay, this is gonna be fun. Come on now, let's break it up, will ya? I wish I had some perfect music for this, but for right Son of a bitch! Get him, lads! This is a fun party, or can oh. I join in? Oh, my guess. Join, lads! <laughs> Take them down! Is that all you got? Ow. What do you think you're doing? Ah. Man, this got out of hand in a hurry. Oh, Jesus. Give me a second there, mate. I'll be right with you. Steroids, pal. my pride. They're gonna need a plunger. Come on. Let's go, Nate. Here. You can get out the back. Stop him! I've got the old geezer! Oh, this can get nasty, maybe. How's that for? I wonder. I, I don't think they would have, but... Oh, no. Can't do it. Never mind. Ready to go, kid? Yeah. Oops. Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. Come here, come here. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. You've had enough, haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? 
still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets, or blood, or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death. Or not. No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back! Cut her! Oh no, oh shut up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on, they're a right pair of arseholes. What? The end. Or maybe not. Alright, here we go. Yeah, let's look at the rudimentary sketches. Okay. I didn't get why we have to go to the first page, I guess. Drake's ship recording pinned. Right, okay. We will go look at that. Which is probably on the. Not it either. Wow, oh, that. <laughs> don't think it's. Well, it might be here. Maybe a shop. Free sails, at least. <laughs> or masts. Right. Okay, it must be upstairs. He says one guy. Not here. Maybe upstairs. It's gotta 
be in one of these cases. El museo cierra en 15 minutos. Oh, no, that's not it either. I don't know why we looked at that. That's an interesting uh, scuba gear. Hmm. Nope. This one. Oh, no, that's not it either. Wait, here it is. Uh, I'll probably like walked past him and he's just said it. Huh. Yep. <laughs> oh, I thought we were looking for a ship. Ratita callejera, suélteme. Clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Estás just doodling in my journal. Y quédate afuera. Pendejo. Um. Oh, there he is. Are you gonna follow the old man? Uh. I gotta keep up with him. Okay, well, how can we run? Ah, there he is. Don't mind if I do. Uh, hi. Huh. Got it was rotten, rotten anyway. Messages on the stream. Uh, welcome. Uh, now where did he go? Uh, no, que yo le dije que no se preocupara tanto, Pero que tenga plata. Where is he going? Eso siempre es lo complicado. Tengo guanábana, tengo guayaba, tengo de todo. Tengo mangostinos fresquitos, más que señor. ¿Cuándo le diste eso? El otro día. Literally lost it. I forgot where I was going. Oh, okay, good. Pure instinct, huh? Now what's he doing? Ah, damn. It's locked. Looks like he's going upstairs. Hmm. Gonna have to find another way up. We can see through walls. Uh, 
um, so we can go up higher. No. Feel like we're going the wrong way. Me What's he doing in there? I need to get a better look. Yeah, I don't want to rush you, pal. Can you move it along? Yeah, casi está, senor. Just that I got a lady with me. You know how that is. Si, si, senor. Okay, I guess we'll watch him for a bit. Okay, that's very convenient. Aquí lo tiene. That's a ticket. Gracias. Adios, amigo. Okay, I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. Don't mind me. Kind of wrong way or the right way. He's cutting through that building. I bet I can spot him from the roof. Your friend. <laughs> Walks really slowly. Gotta down. get down there. Um, <gasps> <the> sign. Don't want to lose him. Damn it. Don't want to go down there. Empanadas, quiero una empanada. Guarepa, ¿qué quiere? I gotta find a way to get that wallet. Okay, it's right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. 
Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. The technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? All right. Museum's closed. Grab for work, I guess. Ugh. Good guess. to do that. Oh, so just got on with it. Okay, we'll grab it. Okay, fine. So if you need to grab a ledge below that. So I have to descend down. I should have an open window. All right, let's come. Oh. There we go. There it is. Ah, oh, that was close. Yes. I saw something shiny over here. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, is a shiny thing? You're just gonna rob the whole place, or just isn't just this? Thanks for the follow, bus. <clears throat> wow. Damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! Stop the boy! Uh, yeah, Holy crap! Sure. He has the ring! Break the door down! Oh God! He's heading for the roof! Catch him! Chains! Break it! Hurry! Let go! Shit! How did you there get to the is. roof? Oh crap! Who the hell are these guys? Oh, I think I... Come here, you little bastard! Enough of this! Huh? Shoot him! Jesus. Yeah, they're shooting at me? Yeah! Where the X button was. Uh, crap. I was pushing square. I was like, wasn't anything happening? Because I'm used to the Xbox controller. Yeah, we've got him. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. Hey, Kazaki. Sorry about that. Jesus. Why is the lamp post all the way up here? Well, close one. Really? Gotcha, you, you little shit! Close one. Got a hit. 
uh, triangle. Oh. Um. You are done, kid. Oh, okay, I can't. Okay, he's like a dead end, so I guess I'm going to lie. Okay, kid. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense. But I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but... Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so... Like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, uh, well... Anyway... I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies, 
Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. Great things in our future. Um, they're gone. All right, lads? <laughs> oh, God. Bet you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. Right. <laughs> All right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a little swept up in the moment. Uh, you were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on this good side. All right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. You do? <laughs> Let's get moving. Well, hurry it up, Nate. Shit. The filth. This way. What? Come on. Really? Come on, Charlie. What's the holdup? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. He's I'm fine. claustrophobic. It's blocked. Push is Wait, on. we can get around this way. Uh, that way? Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm gonna give me a paste. Mm -hmm. uh. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. <laughs> oh. There's a thought. You won't know do it the fun way. The wall's too high. Let's move this thing over there. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy asses. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, <laughs> Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> Oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. 
Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, that's funny. Do you have any trouble? Nah, easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door scary pop inside in behind? Behind that one there, the green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in, and we sneak up. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're onto. Yeah, well, at my age, a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. I'm guessing we're climbing over. Seems pretty quiet. Got a pipe. You think they're still in there? Well, we're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. Well, we can't afford to waste time standing here. I'll find a way in and check it out. You three stay here. Got it. TV. Just rip the satellite dish. Damn it. It's alright, we'll blame the cats and dogs. Where did it go? Uh, okay, maybe not. Feels like we can survive that part of me, feels like we can't. Um, so we need to open it at all. Okay, it looks like we're gonna try and survive. I know there's a ledge there. Oof, no. Empty? Wait a minute, where did it go? Okay, this might work. Here we go. What the hell is that? Actually, I wonder if I can... Oh no, because it's on a... On a slope. That's probably why. Um, oh, hello. No. Uh, maybe you climb up here. Jump to it? Oh, fuck. <sighs> Empty? Wait a minute, where did it go? Maybe we have to go this way. Oh, yeah, there we go. Makes more sense. Mm -hmm. 
Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. They went left. Into that wall. I know this through the tire tracks. Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. Are you sure this is the right one? Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. They were okay, here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. Yeah, I don't need hints. Hey, over here. Look at this. They were using portals. Um. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Um, went forward. Supposedly into a wall. Come on, you're supposed to be the smart one. What are we missing? A lever? Or lever? Huh. What's this? Tired. Oh, pressure plate. Hey, check this out. Oh, some kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You two, back there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And? <laughs> well, this has got to be it. Wait. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. Well, I have a goddamn cadaver. Um. Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll Story track the Batman. car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. <laughs> Smart ass. It looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. Hey, over here. It's locked. Not for long. You get the old fashioned. <laughs> Apparently, that doesn't work. Or it might do. Come on. We should be able to squeeze through here. I think. Lead on, Macduff. Oh, for God's sake. What? Lay on. It's lay on, Macduff. <sighs> Can we hurry it along, please, mate? You all right back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just, just not keen on the old tight spaces, that's all. all right, just keep moving. Thank God for that. Who the hell is Macduff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? <laughs> what was that? I see them! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, yeah, nice one, mate. Thanks. There we go. No, no, keep the silencer, kid. I wanted the ammo, but... This is over! Okay. Tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. Nope. Wonderful. That doesn't look good. Oh, that is a long way down. Ooh, treasure. Careful, it's slippery. Oh no, hang on, we want to go up. Can I go up? Oh, I missed it. Oh well. Never mind. Actually, I wonder if I can... Um, yeah. There's more of them. Get down. Yeah. Wait until they're close enough. Have you forgotten how to shoot? No. It's more fun punching them. Hey, um. there's a passage up there. And a ladder. Yeah. Looks like it's jammed, though. Let me see if I can loosen it. <laughs> this is a lot of work for the bad guys to get up and down on. Look out, here it comes. Well done, mate. Finally, I'm not on the receiving end. Looks like there's some sort of gate up there. Um, sure. Get here. This is going to be interesting. No, no. How about you, Cutter? A little help here? Sure, I gotcha. This is a bad idea. All right, ready? Pull. Got it. Okay, Charlie, come on. There's the tunnel again. That's too far to drop, though. We'll break our damn necks. Down here. Where the hell are we headed now? What in the world? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate. But whoever they are, they are seriously weird. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing... Down our only option? Well, it probably isn't, but it's a good thing it is. Look at the ironwork. 
Well, it's got to be Victoria, maybe older. Yeah. All this stuff's been rusting for a century. Maybe we can get through here. Oh, no way we're moving there. <laughs> Wait, it's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. Right, one of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> ah, crap. Ah! <laughs> Was there? <laughs> that ought to work. Yeah, uh, is it my idea? <laughs> this place. Thanks for having our back. Hey, there's Marlo's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. But we might need them. Ah! but you know hands up oh I don't know. we must have taken a wrong turn somewhere yeah is this King's Cross don't move <laughs> Place is this? How did they get I've never seen anything here. like it. Some sort of train station or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus, it's just when you think things can't get any weirder. Interesting. Done, boys. Come on. They must have gone through here. And it gets weirder. Oh, this stonework. Looks like Tudor. 16th century. Who stairs? Up this way. Quietly, Nate. Over here. No, 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 seriously. 
Who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. Four hundred years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't Brain. understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? <laughs> I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. This is quite the operation they got going here. Maybe it's the Illuminati. Wait, was there only two of guards? Look at all this stuff. Ew. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. It's not just any book, wise ass. Belong to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed them once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Here we go. L O H D N. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shush. No shit long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Just shut up. It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. What the hell are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting. Well, what makes you think it's even here? It's gotta be here. Well, it could be a Buckland Abbey for all we know. <laughs> what? 
Buckland Abbey, it's a place you've never been there. Move on. Well, there's a chair there made from the wood of his ship. Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but... No. No, it's got to be here. Something up. There it is. This place is amazing. Of course. There it is. I found it. Where? Up there. The figurehead from Drake's ship. How the hell do we get up there? Guessing the stairs? Where we drop down? Yeah, I know it's here. Okay, I'm looking. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Okay, never mind then. There we go. Oh shit! It's a trap! They're here! Take cover! Arabia. <laughs> hey, we could use a little help here. Come on, Nate, let's go. What the hell are you doing? Grab the journal and the cipher disc. Go, go, go. We're running out of ammo. Grab their weapons. Oh, them in silent spawn. Are we good for our ammo? I think we're good. I'm pretty sure there's a quicker way out. Steady. Oh, did I just get a shit ton of grenades? No. Shit, they're everywhere. That damn ambush. Cover me! You got it! We gotta get out of here, Knight! Just keep moving forward, we'll find a way out! Where's my... Oh no, oh nice. Yeah, I do want that then. <laughs> or replace the pistol. Shit, they're everywhere. Come on, we've got to keep moving. Watch it, Nate, this place is crawling. <laughs> Okay.
Vai behind me. Yes. Oh crap. <laughs> Hey, there's a ladder! Come on, hurry up! Did I have a shotgun? Here we go. It's weird about the uh, guys with the lasers so you disappear. It's a shotgun. Cutter, where the hell are we? It's the North Atwood Station, come on! Speak for yourself. All right then. I mean, shotguns are good and that, but eh. Chloe, can you read me? We're coming out the old North Atwood Station. There's no time to explain. Ooh. We got plenty. Don't lose him. Give us more fucking grenades. Are you guys counting down? Oh, hello. <laughs> Okay. Up here, hurry. Back up, back up! Come on, come on! Go, 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 go! the 
that guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D.'s signature. Who the hell's John D.? John D., one of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D. who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. Dee and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubel-Kali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlow is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubel-Kali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just, it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian it's script. script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> Into the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Not too far? <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was fifteen, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. 
Okay, and after that conversation, I will be calling it there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and obviously share it. And if you're watching this on Twitch, feel free to give us a follow. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you guys on Tuesday is when I'll next be live. So thank you very much for watching, and stay safe, and goodbye.